Last night, San Francisco's team total was still at 21 and a half. I haven't checked it this morning. Unless it's a garbage time situation, I don't know that I see them getting to 20, you know, 22 or more points. Um, Brock Purdy, this is his first real road game, right? He's played at Seattle, which which is a tough environment, but San Francisco's owned Seattle this year. And he went to the Las Vegas, which was a home game for the Raiders. Like, he hasn't seen anything like this. And with the amount of pressure Dallas was able to get, and now you're coming in with a team on the road that has 75 sacks, that has the deepest D-line rotation in the NFL, um, I don't know, guys. Like, I, 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 Purdy under pressure wasn't pretty. Um, in this last game, what, 3 of 11, two sacks with Dallas pressured him, 2.2 yards per attempt, 39.6 QB rating, and that's at home. Um, and on the other side of the ball, I love the 49ers defense. There's a lot to love there. But they hammered big plays. And if A.J. Brown's anything close to normal, I mean, he, he, what, it's seven catches, TD catches of 25 yards or more. Like, I just think some of that deep stuff's going to be there. A lot to Kyle Shanahan for me because he's kind of playing not to lose with this kid right now. And he's had him at home, and he's had all the creature comforts, and he could play to win, you know, 17-14. I don't think that's going to be the case in this one. And if he doesn't take the handcuffs off, if he doesn't just say, hey, we've already done more than anybody thought we could do with Brock Purdy. We're going to let it all hang loose. We're going to try to throw early to get the lead to allow us to run. Because if he does it and he plays it conservatively and he gets behind by two scores, it's over. It's it's over and it can get way out of hand. So I don't know which Kyle Shanahan shows up, but I, I think the Eagles are well positioned to win this game by more than three points. 